Hey boys and girls. Today we are going to be learning about how we convert time and how we find elapsed time. So if that is a word you're not very familiar with, elapsed time means um, the time that has passed. For example, if you were at, let's make this a little bigger. Well, there we go. If you were at school from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., um, the amount of elapsed time is how much time is it from 8 to 3? So if you're at 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. So you've been there for seven hours. So that's your elapsed time. Okay. So we're going to solve elapsed time problems by converting the different units of time. So I want to review with you the units of time first. So you have a, char a chart, but also there's a good one right here with our different time conversions. So you can always refer to this in your book. You can go back to it and um, the anchor charts that we have. We're very familiar with time, so this makes this lesson um, a little bit easier for you, I think, because we are so Really, we are addicted to time. Everything's so scheduled, and so we talk about it a lot, so it helps us be very familiar with it. But So a minute is 60 seconds, and that's abbreviated in these ways. An hour is 60 minutes. A day is 24 hours. One week is seven days. One year is about 52 weeks. It varies a little bit. And a year is 365 days. So, we're going to use this to help us as we're solving these problems. Alright, so let's look at this first um, <clears throat> problem we have. It says, Claudio wants to ride the exercise bike at least five hours each week. So, there's your exercise bike. He recorded the amount of time he rode the exercise bike each day last week. Did Claudio reach his goal? Because he wants to ride for five hours each week. But we see here that he listed his time as minutes. 50, 35, 30, 45, 40, 30, 50. So, in order to figure out if he's reached his goal of five hours, we've got to know several things. So, we can break it down and figure this out first. First of all, let's figure out how many total minutes he rode the bike. So, we can use what we have right here. I'm going to scoot over and use a little bit of this area up here on my paper. So I've got 50, 35, 30, 45, 40, 30, and 50. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I want to make sure I don't forget one. And normally I wouldn't recommend adding seven numbers at once, but since these numbers are um, multiples of five, this won't be too bad. So 5, 10, now I carry my 1, then let's count this. I'm going to count 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I know that he rode a total of 280 minutes. So now it says, how can you convert the number of minutes to the number of hours? Well, we'll look right here. We know there's 60 minutes in an hour. So 280 minutes is how many hours? Let's think about what we're doing again. We're going from smaller to bigger, so we're going to divide. So right over here, I'm going to take my 280, and I know I need to divide by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So if I count just by sixes, six, 12, 18, 24, I know that 6D will go into 284 times because that'd be 240. So that means it was four hours, but also 
40 minutes out of 60. Um, because I had 40 minutes left over. I could also say that's four and four six or four and two thirds hours because if a hour is split into increments of 20, 20, 40, 60, so I have two of those thirds. Did he reach his goal? No, bless his heart. He just needed to ride how many more minutes? 20 more minutes. But he should be very proud of himself. That's a lot of time on a bike in a week. All right. So let's turn the page. And this at the top says, Abram arrives at the swim meet at 9.30 a.m. and stays for 225 minutes. At what time does he leave? Okay, so there's different ways that you could solve this, but probably the easier way would be, like they said, find the number of hours that he's there. Because we can count up hours a lot quicker than we can count up those minutes. So, <clears throat> let's think about it. We've got 225 minutes, so I'm gonna use my space over here. I know I need to divide that by 60 to figure out how many hours he's there. So again, I'm going to count by 6's. 6, 12, 18, 24 is too big, so it's just 3 times. And I know 3 times 60 is 180. And so then that's 3 hours and there's 45 minutes left over. Okay. So he's there for 3 hours. 45 minutes and then we could also say that that time is three and three-fourths hours because if an hour is split into four blocks 15 30 45 60 that's three of those fourths <clears throat> so then it says you can so this is a strategy that you might like you can use a number line with increments of 15 to represent the elapsed time Count the number of whole hours and then the number of quarter hours. So if you're here and we know that we're going 15, 30, 45 an hour. So here to here is one hour and that's 10, 30. Then we're 15, 30, 45 an hour. That's another hour. That's 11, 30. Remember we went three hours so we need to do 15, 30, 45, 60, another hour, which is 12.30. And then he only went um, 45 minutes, so 15, 30, 45. So if we're at 12.30 and we add 45 minutes to it, I know an hour would be 1.30, so this is going to have to be 1.15. So he left at 1.15 p.m. This is not the only strategy you can use. You can definitely count up to yes, get your... Yes, ma'am? Did I ever give you no books for this class and stuff that you wanted? No, ma'am. Okay, I, so I ran out of emails. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, 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 you could also just write it out, 9.30 plus an hour, 10.30. It's really up to you what strategy helps you to get it right. So that's one, two, three hours. And then 12.30, you might add 30 minutes, and that gets you one o'clock. And you know you have to add 15 more minutes, and that will give you to 1.15. It's totally up to you whatever strategy works best, okay? Next, we have um, Claudio again. He rode his exercise bike each day for these number of minutes. Did he reach his goal for riding five hours? All right, let's see if he did it again. So let's put our numbers here. We've got 45, 35, 50, 20, 40, 40, 30. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, ten. Carry my one, then four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So that was 260 minutes. And we need to know how many hours that is. So again, we need to say, we'll squeeze it right here, 260 divided by 60. And I know 60 for 6, 12, 18, 24. He's got to get to 3. So he still just did 4 hours. And this time he had 20 minutes left over. So really, he did 4 hours and 20 minutes. So he did not reach his goal again. Bless his heart. Okay? Um, let's look down here to the convert ones so we can change some different things. Um, 495 minutes is how many, let, let's, we've done minutes and hours. Let's do seconds and minutes. So what do we know about seconds and minutes? We know there are 60 seconds in a minute. So if we're going from smaller to bigger, we've got to divide by that 60 and then we think how many times can 6 you can think little how many times can 6 go into 30 I know that's 5 so 5 times 60 gives me exactly 300 so 300 seconds is 5 minutes alright let's think about days and weeks we're going from smaller to bigger so I know I'm dividing and what do I know about days and weeks I know that there are seven days in a week and so that would be five weeks let's think about um, this two and a half years is about how many weeks so here we're going from bigger to smaller so we're going to multiply so I know that one year is about 52 so two years is going to be 104 and then if I'm going to do that half, well, I need to know what half of 52 is. So let's work that out. 2 goes into 5 2 times because that's 4. And 2 goes into 12 6 times. So if I have 104 plus 26, that's going to give me 130 weeks. 130 weeks about is how much time 2 and a half years is. So the rest of your work today, again, um, is converting some of these things. Let's go ahead, let's go to number um, 19. So we're on page 312. Let's turn or look at number 19 to talk a little bit about elapsed time. So remember that's start and end and how much time has gone by. So if we start at 11.15 and five and a half hours goes by, what's your end time going to be? All right, so let's think about that. 11.15, five and a half hours, which I know is five hours and 30 minutes. So first I want to add my five hours. So if I'm at 11 plus five hours, 12, 1, 2, three four that would be four fifteen so don't forget when you get to twelve you move back to one so we're at eleven twelve one two three four that's four fifteen then I need to add my thirty minutes which would give me four forty five so four forty five is how much time or is what time you would be done okay that one is the same so let's look at 19 where they tell you the start they tell you the end but you have to figure out how much time went by so i like to write mine out and i like to figure out my hours first now pay attention you're at 10 45 a.m 6 15 p.m so if i'm at 10 45 let's count hours 11 12 1 2 
three, four, five. I can't go to 645 because that's too far. So I'm just gonna have seven hours. So let's make sure. 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, 45. So that's seven hours. Then I need to know how many minutes it is until 6.15, that's when I end. Well, I know 15 more minutes would make it six o'clock and then another 15 would make it 6.15. So I added 15 plus 15, which is 30 minutes. So seven hours and 30 minutes has elapsed while you're wherever it is you are. Okay, now let's look at this one, number 20, which seems like it could be a little confusing because it says eight and a six hour has gone by. But remember, one six just means that you've taken your hour and you've divided it into six parts. 60 minutes in an hour divided by six means 10. So all that means is eight hours and 10 minutes. So, if you start or if you end at 3.30, we've got to move backwards to see what time we started. Keep trying to find some spots on here to use. So let's see, where was that at? Oh, 3.30. So we're going to be going backwards to get eight hours back. So let's count backwards. So if we're taking away eight hours, two, one, twelve. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So that would be 7.30. Now let's count forward just to make sure. If it's 7.30, let's add those eight hours. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, yes. So that would give us 7.30. But remember, we also had 10 minutes go by. So take away your 10 minutes and that would mean you started at 720 which is kind of like our school day okay all right so um, take this and go ahead to that homework and work on it and do your very best